and dry to the rainforest orchid to a curse that I for sending me here is it hopeless and vain wow. or does it curl and care A little while ago, I did one of my most popular videos ever. So dirty, so good. On Universal Audio's Sound City plugin, one of the best plugins of the year by far. And I can't believe it, but I'm back with another plugin that might be just as revolutionary, if not more. Curves Equator. Wait till you guys hear this thing. Wait till you get your hands on it. Waves is back, and they're back with their answer to Soothe 2 and the rash of de-resonators, spacers, and unmaskers that are on the market. The industry leader by far is Soothe 2. The Soothe 2 goes on sale maybe once a year for like 50 bucks off. It's 300 US dollars normally. So this one's called Waves Curves Equator. It's got two names, Curves Equator, because from what I could see, they're going to be making a series of these plugins dealing with similar uh, AI-ish smart mixing tools. Equator is the first one, and it's like a Soothe 2 killer. Wait till you guys hear this thing. Wait till you get your hands on it. This plugin, I think, beats it in every way. And it's one-tenth the price. Only $40 right now. I don't even have an affiliate with Waves, I'm not big enough yet, but there will be a QR code at the left, QR code at the left, that you can click at any time to go off to Waves and get this limited time intro deal. 50% off, 40 bucks. Uh, it's just a referral link. Uh, you'll get 10% off, so that'll make this 36 bucks. And um, I'll get some kind of Waves credit. I don't, I don't even care, I didn't even look into it. Go get it now. Don't even watch the video. You could be learning how to use this on your mix instead of watching me talk about it. But for those of you that are skeptical, I brought up a track. Uh, live streamed it for members uh, a couple days ago. Uh, they got a sneak peek at this already. So consider joining member button if it exists below the join button or Patreon link in description below to get deals like this a couple days before the normal crowd does, you normies. All right, curves, let's get it. Assisting me today will be the young and lovely uh, Mr. J. Dahl, uh, the live streaming J. Dahl. We'll come in every now and then with some comments and sometimes technically screw up the live stream. You guys might remember this from my uh, D-Res, Resonance Killer video. Watch your, uh, watch your headphones. This starts loud, but this has a really huge resonance that it builds up in the vocals. Here it comes. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> see how it builds over time? Oh, and D-Res kills oh. it. So now okay, so let's pull that right all out. Hey, hey guys, one at a time, all right? Um, yeah. First, we're gonna take Curves Equator and we're gonna apply it to that same obvious Howler Monkey frequency that we know from successfully de-resing it with de-res. It's about 1100, 1140 hertz. Um, so we'll start there, see how it does, dare to compare. Because we know that de-res just outright kills it flat. So let's see, let's listen to that section. You guys tell me if any audio is messed up. I am running an L2 on the bus to get uh, volumes up for streaming. This is a very rough mix. There's been some preliminary stuff done on the vocals. So let's listen to that. The 
There's that resonance. I'll just copy over a D-Res here so you can hear it. There she is. It's about 1.1 kilohertz. And D-Res does a great job of killing it off. See? And there it is when it's back. So, let's begin. We get Curves Equator. I'm not crazy about the name Curves. Wasn't this a weight loss program in the States? Or a workout or something like that? So let's see. We should be able to open it up, get it to learn the vocal, and it should start trying to attack um, resonances. We've got the learn button, the almighty learn button. Push this and then apply once these little bars have filled up enough, the apply button lights up. You can apply it then or you can let it go its full distance. You can also choose auto apply when you, you don't have to press apply, it'll just apply it when it feels it understands the track. So let's uh, let it run. We'll get that um, resonance built up and we'll press learn. Oh, there's that resonance. Okay, when the bars are filled up, we can hit apply. There's also an auto apply that when it's understanding the, the tone, it'll just apply it. You don't have to hit apply. Okay, so there's our curve. I still hear it. So it was like 1.1K. If my memory serves, so we'll type in 1100. We'll go pretty, pretty high Q. And pulling down will create more reduction. Better. The okay, we'll do one more and I'll disable it. It's getting a lot of it. Now we can increase sensitivity. And it should do more. Maybe we'll widen the queue a little bit. Try bypass. Struggle and It's a lot better. Let's try it in the mix. When you, this is such a strange and loud and constant howling resonance, right? From having all these stacked unison vocals. So it, it is in some ways a, a bad uh, example, but it's a really strong example that it helps you find whether something can do the trick or not. D-Res kills it, but don't worry, you don't need to go out and buy D-Res. You can have Curves Equator, which will probably kill all of it when you finally tune it. Maybe even add a second one. If it doesn't, at the end of the day, you can get rid of that uh, that, that one kilohertz uh, resonance with a normal EQ, as long as it can do, you know, uh, 20, 30 Q. You've got your curve, which is gonna be your threshold plus the general EQ curve. Pulling it down will suppress 
more frequencies up will boost more frequencies. Click on the curve to make nodes. Get sensitivity, which will react faster and harder. Shape will select the threshold curve. This main knob here is unsurprisingly called the main knob. It's going to change your threshold. Just up and down, they put fancy particles in it. That doesn't really mean anything. It's the threshold. Tilt, now this is bloody brilliant. So you can get a sound dialed in the way you want, but then tilt the overall EQ curve to be higher or lower. Just like those classic old two knob tilt EQs. Oh, look at that, okay. Struggle and torn. Struggle and torn. Struggle and torn. And this moves the threshold. The Struggle and torn. And that resonance is still coming in. That's a little better. We can hear the delta Struggle here. So it is getting that. It's such an unusual hook in that it's just, you know, a whole note. Okay, so that's cool. Then we can take the whole uh, curve and tilt it. Get brighter, get bassier. Let's check it in the mix. Bypass. Okay, there's that resonance. So it's doing a really good job. Perhaps the most exciting feature in Equator is its sidechain feature, which makes it much like uh, some of the other more advanced uh, unmaskers on the market, uh, Track Spacer, Claro, some of these other amazing plugs that do a great job at this. Um, but I've found when you push hard, you can start to get a little bit of artifacting. Let's see what we get when we get the sidechain set up and uh, duck some guitars with a vocal bass with drums, yada, 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 and see what we get. So let's uh, kind of slip through the stream and try it on different instruments. So let's get the guitars be unmasked by the vocal set up the side chain we're gonna add the uh, all box equator bus that I have going and we're gonna turn on the side chain and we're gonna learn and this is gonna learn and create an opposite curve to what it did originally in the other one Let it go all the way. Let's go all the way. Okay, so look at that. Let's just immediately see if it's doing anything. So this is on all guitars. Oh wow, look at that, yeah, it's really scooped it a bit. With some brightness on the acoustic. Okay. Okay, I'll just leave it where it is for now and let's check the mix. We've 
got this little part here, this drone, acoustics, this kind of big, crazy, wide, thick distorteds. So is this helping? Let's bypass. Mess with the settings to see if we can improve it. So let's just try putting more of it. We'll get right in there. Rider. When on, reduction amount is dynamically adjusted based on the side chain audio levels. Okay, well, let's try that. some of that dirty guitar back. Okay, gonna bypass. Bring it back. Okay, so that rider is cool. It's Unless the guitars push up when he's not singing or not singing as loud. Let's try tilting the guitars. Wow, so listen to that acoustic come up. it not quite as crazy. I'm going to bring it up a bit so it's not quite as severe. One of the most impressive things to me was using it in mid-side mode. Uh, it really can move instruments around uh, the outside of your mix and back in and while keeping the tone change that you're asking for you can still tilt it to find adjust it. Here we get acoustics to rise up and then get out to the sides and get out of the way of the rest of the program material. And uh, acoustics that I was struggling to keep in the mix earlier with a bit of a boxy tone now just elevate into these angelic picks at the side of the mix. Let me see my broadcast here. Oh, sorry guys. I had uh, PDF up the whole time. Still learning. Still learning how to broadcast. Oh, come on, Jay. Like, you've been streaming. You've had like seven or eight live streams. Come on, man. And at the bottom left corner here, that way, there's a QR code. I don't, I don't have a, an affiliate with Waves or anything, but it's just the, you know, share referral link. Like it's just a referral and uh, you get 10% off and I get some kind of, I don't know, credits towards upgrades or something. Maybe if enough of you are impressed with this and buy it, maybe I can get the Waves update plan this year for my diamond bundle, lol. I got the acoustics and I saw them talking about presets on something here. Clear mid-range from center, darken the sides. Clear mid-range from center, let's try that. All controls only, threshold SC flat. Right. All right, there's a lot to learn here, guys. And you can click the advanced button and get all sorts of deeper controls on all the usual attack, release, uh, the shape of the tilt, including a mid-side mode, which we're going to hear awesome. Okay, advanced controls. Okay, so here's the mid-side thing. Okay, so that's where you shift to mid-side mode. Very cool. So, let's get this plan. learning so so far i'm quite impressed with this now we're going to try mid side oh wow listen to that gonna bypass yes it's totally moved it okay so let's see what happens in the mix now
bypass. Bit of bass to survive. Okay, let's try some other usual suspects. Let's get the bass. Let's just do a raw learn on this. <laughs> so it sounds really convincing as a fretless bass in the mix. If solo it, you can hear that it's a sample. All right. Well, there we go. There's a big fat bass curve. It's already really severely band pass, so not hearing too much of a difference there. And then let's get uh, the drums. And we'll get a side chain going. Okay, there we go. So it's great, it's leaving all that untouched. So let's get wacky with it. Let's give that a solo and listen to the Delta. Maybe just have it reduce a little bit. And you've got a uh, parallel mode. You can do a mix mode on it, only blend in some of this signal, keep some of the original. This means infinite possibilities. It's got a built-in limiter, just in case and built-in auto gain compensation, which I find to be very SSL-y. Uh, as you were push into it, it pushes back more and your changes get exaggerated. It's actually really cool. Uh, auto gain, which is on, right? Yeah, because I mean, I can turn it on the drums boost. Here we go. Cool. Let me get all the curves temporarily ganged up, hit the Q link, and we'll turn them all off at the same time and see what happens. There we go. Acoustic might be a bit much. Put the tilt back. It 
really pushes that forward. What do you guys think? We'll do another round of uh, Killing the Curve. Or There's that monkey howler note. I'd say to me, it's softer with that on. It's reminding me of when I get D-Res going properly on all my, getting rid of all my resonances and individual tracks and then bypass them all and you get this similar softening but detailing effect. Let's put one on the mix bus. And then of course, we're going to want to try this on a mix bus, which Waves recommends. It's totally a thing you can do with it. The most impressive thing about Equator, and this is saying a lot because it's a pretty impressive package, is that even when pushed hard, we're not getting those weird MP3 artifacty things that even Sooth 2 gets when you start to really lean into it. Let's have a listen. You know what I'm not hearing? I'm not hearing the milky MP3 Fraunhofer kind of um, artifacts that I always hear, even in Soothe 2 when, when you're kind of gunning it. With the one on the mix bus, maybe we'll try really pushing it and see if we can, we can get those. Bypass it. Here we go. Yeah, that's a real darkener, that one. Let's try Master. That would. Master Bus 2 is dark. Bright. Let's try Bright. Okay, and there's a little trash can to get rid of what it's learned. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I want that curve. Right. Okay, here we go. We're going to learn again. Okay, I'll bypass it for this. more subtle. Let's listen to the Delta. Okay, so we're listening to just the Delta, which is now, I mean, since it's messing with everything, we're, but I'm not hearing that artifact stuff. When you go really hard with uh, any of the other ones I've tried, including Sooth 2, it starts, the Delta starts to sound like an MP3, which makes sense. There, so let's just have it... It's kind of doing a constant leveling, and let's see what this sounds like. And maybe we'll tilt it up a bit. Bypass. Oh wow. Wow. And if we want to emphasize something, we just make a node. Or we want to scoop. Last chance to get rid of that uh, 
1100 monkey howl. Okay, the bypass. If we go mid side here. Oh wow. Uh, totally changes the shape. So while it's a big auto plug in, there's a lot to explore here. This is really exciting. So it's so exciting that I bought it right away. It is half off right now. Um, so, I mean, this is a, a chance to really get your tracks cleaned up. I mean, I'm just hearing this thing absolutely. Let me pull this down. And we'll try turning all the curves off. Oh, I got to do one more. Mystic that binds the open road. So that's a different track of vocals. Let's let's uh, let's do a quick curve on him because, you know, this is this is still a very rough mix. So we, this we still need obviously some essing done here. Do they have a preset for essing? Presets that or uh, darken the sides. D S or yes. <laughs> here we go. Let's get it. Okay, we'll go learn. Mystic the binds the open road. This seamless intersection A lapse remains cold There are two worlds out there On this path through tear alone So I need some tweaking, it's made these vocals incredibly bright to the rain So we gotta get some body back in them But this is a totally different track from those chorus vocals Here is it hopeless and vain but does the current yeah, it's a lot. care? How do you misplace the mountain? Let's get that looping. The stick that binds the open road, this seamless intersection. Okay, so look at that. A lapse remains cold. Let's, let's boost the base here. Out there on this path through Tiralur from the sun, dust, and dry. To the rainforest orchid Just stick the vine The open road This seamless intersection Yeah, it's a total change of tone Lapse remains cold. Probably a bit much two worlds out But we can just tilt it back up this path through Get some of that brightness back From the sun dust and dry To the rainforest orchid Cool, sounding more Just human stick now. the vine what do you think, guys? In a um, few years, is it just going to be a big red mix button? Are we headed towards that? Q Link. There we go. So that turns off all my curves. So let's start with where the mix was. And I'll just uh, go and expand that so we can listen through to the chorus once. Mystic the bind, the open road. This go. seamless intersection Ooh. A lapse remains cold There are two worlds out there On this path through To really boost the vocal, holy smoke From the sun, dust and dry To the rain And it takes a second when it kicks in and you can hear it kind of All the compressors kick in and it sounds weird at first But then you get used to it, okay, here we go Here is it hopeless and vain how do you misplace the mountain? So it's really carving out the mud. How do you misplace the mountain? Struggling You know, obviously I'm overdoing it in a couple places and we're not even, you know, at the full rough mix stage yet. 
but I love what it's done. The acoustics have been pushed out to the sides, taking up their own space. Probably need a little bit more overhead. Fantastic. Wow, guys. Okay, so that is one of the most exciting plugins I've heard this year. You guys have got to try this, and there is a trial mode. You can try it for a week at no obligation from waves.com. Just follow the QR code down here, give her a shot. You can always get rid of it if it doesn't end up working out for you. If you're in love right away with it, then it is 50% off plus 10% off if you use that QR code because it's, it's one of their uh, refer a friend things. And then you guys go and you can get your own uh, referral code once you're signed up at Waves or if you already are. It says right at the top right, refer a friend. You can have your own code and go ahead and get some Waves credits from that. Don't have to use my QR code. But that being said, if you're looking to really play with this new field of you know, uh, unmasking plugins and like self-aware mixing plugins. I feel that Waves has broken through and found a new way to mix tracks. EQ, compression, side chaining, de-resonance, all built into one plugin. In the future, I should try doing a mix from absolute zero. Uh, the, the song you're hearing today is, you know, it's been messed with a bit. It's certainly still rough, but you know, it's kind of general levels are there. I should go from zero to hero just with Curves Equator. What are you guys doing? Why are you still listening to me? Head off to Waves right now with that QR code, with that QR code, and try all this software. Let's get it.